Yeah, it seems like uh, recently and even probably a trend over the past several years is that we are seeing more and more pets that come in that um, range from overweight to even obese. And this summer we've had a couple of dogs in particular that have come in that probably are weighing twice what they should weigh. And it uh, seems like several cats that are even hovering in that 18 pound and over weight range, which really predisposes these animals to some increased health risks. The, the misnomer is, you know, you love them to death and, um, you know, people use food treats for positive reinforcement food rewards. That's fine. That's a, a very acceptable method. But I think sometimes you get into a habit of where maybe that's more than it should be and the weight creeps up on these animals, you know, a few ounces and then a few pounds and then pretty soon they're, they're grossly overweight. And I, I think most people don't realize that. I think the other thing is that, uh, at least a survey with, I think, um, Association of Pet, Over Pet Obesity Prevention is that um, many people they surveyed didn't realize their animals were overweight when in fact they were. So not recognizing that maybe this is the new norm, but the new norm is actually an animal that has more weight than it should. I think there's some pretty straightforward, simple things and, you know, exercise is certainly one thing that's at the top of the list. and. Um, getting dogs on a leash and getting them out day to day. For cats it's a little more difficult but um, you know we have a lot of people that can take a feather toy or a laser light and encourage their cats to play. Um, there have been some studies that overweight animals might even get into some depression because they're not able because of their physical limitations to um, do their kind of inherent behaviors. For cats they you know are prey driven, they want to go hunt and if they are so overweight that they can't even perform that, um, that might get them into some depression. So um, you can hide food around the house to encourage their activity. I know people have done that. Um, there are food dispensing toys that people use. And then, um, you know, for cats, they're a little, a little more difficult to do, but you can do that. Then, of course, addressing the diet. You know, what are you feeding them? Are they getting table food? Are they getting treats? And there are some very good uh, prescription diets on the market to help address overweight problems with pets. Just people recognizing that animals that have excessive weight, you know, you can, it can lead to some health problems and those problems can be early onset osteoarthritis, um, heart disease, respiratory disease, increased blood pressure. There's a direct correlation between overweight cats and the onset of diabetes. And then of course what I talked about, the depression part, which, you know, you can't always pull a blood test for that, but that can be an important aspect to think about too. So those things, uh, you know, they can be pretty serious at times.